Hello and welcome to this short clip on that will focus on searching to find references that support your tutorial paper and that look at differential diagnoses for various conditions. So this task requires you to find three to six references for each of your differential diagnoses. And today I will take you through a live search of our library catalogue and also our databases to find different diagnoses for shoulder pain that may mimic each other. I will start with this search string that you can see in the search box here. So I've put in differential diagnosis with double quotation marks and I've also included an asterisk there as well. And then I've linked the two similar terms with an OR and the separate term which looks at shoulder pain with an end. And the reason why we search with double quotation marks for one word or more that we want to search for a phrase is that it will actually search for those two words in exact order. If we put the asterisk here, it will search for the variations of that word ending. So we will get diagnosis and we will get diagnoses. And I've done that here too for just the diagnosis or diagnoses keyword. And then of course, shoulder pain, I've linked that um, together with the double quotation marks. So we will search for that search string in our library catalogue that's available on our library homepage. We're going to start with finding some books on the topic. Books are a really good place to begin um, with your research because it will give you an overview. Um, so we'll search for books by heading down to the resource type header and we need to select books here. Once we select books, you can see here you've got a combination of available online links and also campus information about where the book sits on the shelf. So whenever you see a number there, that's the number of a physical book. If you see this green available online link, that will take you to an online ebook that's available anytime, anywhere. If you want to select um, one or the other, a print or an online book, you can select available online for ebooks or physical items if you just want print books. If we click on the available online, that will take us to the online book. And you'll be able to see the chapters that you can link to. You can either read those chapters online depending on the licensing of the book or download um, chapters onto your desktop for a period of time. If you're after a print book, you'll need to select the location which says available at Lismore Campus. And then it will give you an option to sign in to um, place a request for that item. And that's on that yellow box. You can sign in there with your username and password details. The library catalogue is the best place to find those reference books. We're now going to explore the databases. So I'll take you back to our library homepage. And underneath where we searched before, there is a link here to the databases page. We'll click on that link. And then we can select the subject area, Health and Human Sciences, and this gives us an A to Z list of all the databases that the library subscribes to. A way to decide which database to use is to go into the Osteopathy um, Library Guide. So if we go back here to the Library Guide, there is a link here as well to LibGuides. But I'll show you from the web page. If we go to the library homepage and we'll scroll down to quick links, and the first link there is library guides, LibGuides. We then once again need to select Health and Human Sciences, and we want the Osteopathy 
library guide because this guide gives us an indication of what the key databases are in the osteo research space and what we're going to do for this tutorial paper um, we've done some sample searches and we've identified that you will need to use the rehabilitation reference center and you'll need to use Sonal and Medline for this particular task. We're going to start from this osteo guide with Rehabilitation Reference Centre. So we'll click on that link under the Evidence-Based Practice Sources to Rehabilitation Reference Centre. This is what the interface of the Rehabilitation Reference Centre looks like. And before we start searching for uh, frozen shoulder, we will need to click on diseases and conditions. And then we will put the terms, the term for frozen shoulder. And we'll click on frozen shoulder. And this takes you directly to another term for the diagnosis, so adhesive capsulitis. And this gives you, this page actually gives you a list of signs and symptoms, etiology, along with clinical reviews, patient education, references, and books. So it's a really great place to go for this particular tutorial paper. We are now going to search for a condition that presents in a similar way. So we'll look up subacromial impingement. And once again, this takes you to a page with the signs, symptoms, references, clinical reviews. But this is a really great place to go for that differential diagnosis information. We'll now navigate back to the library guide because we're going to explore a couple of the EBSCO databases. We'll start with Sonal, and this is an allied health and nursing database. So we're going to click on Sonal there. Once again, we're using the double quotation marks around shoulder pain to link those two words so they're searched for an exact order. And we're putting in a little asterisk here so that we get diagnoses and diagnosis. And what we're going to do is just hit search. You can see here that the search interface is different. You can search multiple lines here. And the, you can link these operators link separate concepts or similar concepts. So the AND is for a separate concept and the OR is for a similar concept. This search gives us 99 results. On the left hand side we can refine so we can actually limit it to a particular publication date um, or a time period. Uh, we can also select scholarly and peer-reviewed journals. And what we're looking for once we get the results, um, once we've refined those results, is we're looking for this PDF full text, which will take us to the full text of that article. Here you can see this has opened up the full text of the article. Once we have that, and if we're happy with that article, we can then download that onto our desktop. Just coming back to the results page, sometimes we'll find an article that doesn't have a link to the PDF full text and in that case we need to click on the find it button and that will check the rest of our Southern Cross University library holdings to see if we hold that paper in, in another database. So it's worth doing that, um, clicking on find it to see if we hold it. Another thing that we can do within Sonal and Medline is to find out what are the medical subject headings for a particular term. For instance, if we put frozen shoulder in here and we click this box, suggest subject terms, here, this actually gives us an indication of the term to use or the medical subject heading to use for frozen shoulder. In this instance, it says use adhesive capsulitis.
And you could actually incorporate this into your search by clicking on adhesive capsulitis and coming all the way down to frozen shoulder. If you click on both of those terms here, and then you come across to the, the right here and you search the database. Here you can see that it's actually incorporated the mesh or medical heading into the search here. So you've got both of those in there. So you could actually do that to get both of those terms and then add in differential diagnosis and search for that, that term there. When you get your results, you can also select particular kinds of publications or papers. So under, under limit two, there is show more. And a good place for finding some of this differential diagnosis information is to look for a systematic review that will synthesize uh, all of the research on a particular topic or subject area or research question. So if we scroll down here under search options and we come to the publication type, we can actually select systematic review here. And there may or may not be a systematic review on this particular topic. Um, there were no results found for this, but depending on what you're searching for, you might be able to select a systematic review that's going to give you an overview of that area. Coming back to the library guide, we're now going to do a search in Medline. The interface of Medline looks very similar to Sonal. There's a few different options within Medline. Um, it ha does have a more medical focus, that database, but the way that you search is very similar. So we'll select on Medline, we'll select Medline underneath key databases. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look for differential diagnosis in Medline and suggest the subject or medical mesh term for that um, preferred database term. You can see here um, that differential diagnosis, the preferred term is diagnosis differential. So we're going to click on that one. And we will also click on the differential diagnosis keyword that we entered. And then we'll click search databases. You can see by doing that it's combined both the mesh medical subject heading and also the keyword that we put in. So we're going to actually build a search by using the search history and combining search terms. So this is one line and it's a good idea when you're starting out doing this is to have one line for one separate uh, search or concept. And then we're going to clear. We're now going to suggest the subject term for frozen shoulder as we did in the Sonal database. Interestingly, this give, is giving us another subject heading here. Sometimes there are differences between the subject headings in Sonal and Medline because of the, the, the different um, focus of those databases and the subject areas. So we'll click on that and also frozen shoulder. So this is now another subject um, line search and what we need to do to combine the differential diagnosis and the frozen shoulder we need to go into search history. You can see now we have search one, search two, search three. Now what we want to do here is combine these two terms. The or is linking the similar terms. So you have here the uh, medical subject heading and also the keyword. 
in the same on this line here. And we want to tick these boxes because they're separate concepts. We need to search with an and. We'll click and. We can now see that by combining those two search lines, we have 397 results and we can begin to refine our results on the left hand side as we did before with our other search. In addition to searching in our library catalogue and our Osteo key databases, we also recommend that you explore the journals. So on the library guide, the second header on the left hand side, journal articles and databases, I recommend that you, actually first off, I recommend that you complete this research ready module if you want um, some more sort of key skills around research. But in terms of searching for this tutorial paper, for information for this tutorial paper, I recommend coming underneath to this key osteopathic medicine journals and jumping in to some of these journals and doing some searches similar to the ones that you've done before, looking in a phrase search, looking for shoulder pain and diagnosis. A simple search like that um, would be really good in some of these osteo journals. Look, that concludes our demonstration of some searching techniques and tips and tricks for this particular assessment task. If you do want support from the library, the best place to go is the library homepage. And if you scroll down once again under quick links and the get help page leads you to a range of ways that you can access support from the library. You can jump onto online chat, which is open whenever our libraries are open. Um, so we also have an email us service. Actually, just a small clarification with library chat, um, when the yellow box um, is active, that's when we are open. So we do have, um, we aren't open for all of our opening hours, but you will see when you jump onto the library homepage that there is a little chat box that pops up when you're doing your searching. Um, we really recommend that you use that as much as possible. If you have any questions about anything covered in the clip, you can ask there. Someone might be able to help you on the fly or you might be um, referred on to one of the librarians for an appointment. You can also um, email. Uh, there's a range of online videos here about finding books, ebooks, requesting books, accessing library guides. Uh, so there's a lot of information there to get you started. So thank you for listening to the clip. Um, please reach out and get support if you need it. Thank you.